Well, we've gotten the headers out of a um, well, a typed header, one that sort of exists on the standard. But what if we want to pass in a custom header to our backend and then handle that? Well, it's definitely possible in Axum, um, but it's going to look a little bit different to extract it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, set up a test for ourselves. I'm going to open up ThunderClient. We're going to do a brand new request. We're going to do another get to HTTP localhost port 3000. Uh, and I would just want to do maybe mirror, uh, mirror custom header. Um, obviously, this is not going to work. It's going to be a 404 because I don't have that route. But I want to set up a header here. Now, in the old days of the web, um, it was uh, necessary for us to create custom headers with a leading X. So you actually might see some applications still using something like this, where you do X dash, you know, auth token or, or something like that. That's, um, uh, th that used to be how we could add in our custom headers. Nowadays, the standard allows us to do whatever we want. And you could just, uh, you could just say you want, you want that as your custom header. Uh, let's do um, let's do the x dash because it's more interesting. So we'll do x dash um, uh, message maybe. And uh, then here we're gonna have just hello world, hello world from headers. Obviously still 404 not found. Let's go ahead and create the route so at least we get a 200 error. So I'm going to come into routes. I'm going to create a um, mirror custom header RS. I'm going to mod that in. And okay, pub function async. No, pub async function. Function mirror custom header. And let's use that. Use mirror custom header, mirror custom header, and let's add in a route for it. Mirror custom header this is going to be a get to mirror custom header. Okay. That should now give us a 200. Okay, excellent. Now I want to get this X message out so we can then mirror this message back to us. So previously we used the typed headers. Now we're going to use a header map. So headers uh, and then just a, a header map. It's actually a very simple uh, function signature here. We don't need to do any types or anything else in here. It's just going to be a map of all the possible headers and we can extract them out. In fact, this map could also be used to extract out the user agent if you wanted to just have a single map and then get multiple headers from it at the same time. We'll also go ahead and return a string here. All right, so to extract out of this, well, it's very similar to a hash map. Um, so there's going to be some like get methods on it. It is a header map, which is sort of a custom struct around a hash map, but they're uh, exposing some of the uh, uh, some of the same methods for us. So if I want our um, message it's equal to headers dot, we can then do a get, and then the key. Well, this is going to be x dot message. Now we notice. This gives us an option here. So I want to be able to unwrap this and, uh, and handle that properly. So I'm just going to wrap this here. In a future lesson, we're going to be talking about proper error handling, and we can unwrap it without necessarily crashing the system if the header doesn't exist, because that's exactly what would happen. OK, if I do that, I now have the message, but it's this header value. If I want to grab the actual message itself. So let's actually change its name. Let's uh, make this like the message value. Um, I want to I want to extract the data out of this. So let's 
message equals message value. Another thing we noticed, this is a reference. That's not really going to cause a problem. We can deref and then uh, to string it, or we could just to string it off of this reference. Either way is going to be fine. So we want message value dot. Um, not too much is available to us here. Uh, we don't even have a to string on it. But what we can do is a, a, a to stir. Now, we could still even do the to stir if we derefed it or we to owned it. That would be essentially the same thing. Also, this gives us a result. So I'm going to go ahead and also unwrap that as the air handling is out of scope for this lesson. And that finally gives us a, a stir. So I'm going to to own this. Now we finally have the full string and we're, I'm just going to return the message out. Okay, let's head back to our Thunder client request and send this. And there we go. We now have our hello world from headers. If I wanted to change this from X message, we can also do the user agent. And I extract those headers as well. So that that header map allows us to get any of the headers that we want, uh, not just custom ones. Anyways, hopefully this is helpful uh, in extracting headers, using them, and uh, and then grabbing them throughout your, your applications. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.